And we are back with TSPN, and we have with us today Dylan and Tucker Farrar, right? Yep. Okay. How are you guys doing? Good. How are you? All right. Now, which 4-H group do you belong to? As Let's see. Let me guess. Willow Springs 4-H Club. Yes. Uh, All right. To make the best better. Is that your, your slogan, or is that a 4-H slogan? It's our slogan. I'm pretty, no, it's the... It's the 4-H slogan. It's okay. one of them. Now, what's, isn't there something about your hands and your heart and all that? Yeah, we do like a pledge we, before we do our meetings. It's like a whole pledge we do every time. Okay, who's going to say it? You guys remember it? <laughs> no, I don't remember uh, Not too good. Okay, something like that. To make your, I, I can't remember. I was in 4-H a long time ago, but it's your head, your hands, Yeah, you your pledge heart. your head to clever thinking, your heart to greater loyalty, my hands to larger service, and my health to my community, my club, my country, and my world. All right, they're very good. All right, we'll give you credit for that one. Um, you guys uh, have been in 4-H for how long? Three, this is, three year. This is our third year. Okay. Yeah, and you enjoy it? Yes. yes. And yes. how old are you now? I'm 13. So could you have been in 4-H before that? Yes, we could have. And doing what? Could you show animals? Um. Yes, if we joined sooner, it would have been certain animals. It probably would have been smaller animals, like uh, rabbits and poultry. But then when you get like to a certain age, you can do the large animals, like pigs, sheep, goats, and and steers. Got to be like nine years old to show pigs. Yes, okay. yeah, something like that. I know my daughter showed a steer when she was nine. She was way down here looking at him way up there, so he was a big steer. <laughs> uh, so you guys raise your animals. Do you raise them for fun? Do you raise them for money? Mostly for fun. Okay, for right now for fun, right? Yeah. But uh, at the economics of it, you got to look down the road, and you got to make money to keep your projects going, right? Yep. Every because I do it for the experience, for the fun of it, and every year I'm with my dad. We make an Excel Excel spreadsheet and break down all the costs, and I pay them back right after for my with my auction money, and then I save my money and I pay for my project next year. Yeah, we, uh, we're just sending out a letter to I own people to support the auction, and that's one thing we say, is you guys got to look at your uh, your pennies at the end and make sure that your bottom line is right and you're yeah. making money, right? Yep. Otherwise, you're not going to stay in business and <laughs> not going to be able to show animals, right? <laughs> yeah. Yep. Now, you're in, you got the economics down. Have you done the spreadsheet yet and all no. that? No. No, you're getting there. Yeah. You're, you're about a year off, it sounds like. Um, what's it like to show your animals at the fair? Okay, it's quite an experience. It's a lot of fun because um, you you have your animals for about like four. I've had my animals for six months now. What kind of animal? I I show pigs. Okay. Because I I breed them. I got my operation going this year, so I could. I went to state fair, bought bought two gilts, and then I bred them for our fair. For, at the fair, there's gonna be like ten of our own pigs going there, mm -hmm. so I have two of them and. It's a lot of fun. Two um, of them going where? To State Fair? No, to... Uh, to our local fair. Yes, to our local and then, fair. And then you take the other pigs and sell them to other people? Yes. Other kids? Yep. Sell as many as we can to 4-H'ers, but then anything else just will go to mm -hmm. just a home. You, you don't sell the pigs cheaper to the girls than to the boys, right? Nope. Same okay. price. That's better. <laughs> All right. Now, you got the same thing going. Do you raise animals, too? Yes. Um, there, we have a goat herd at our house, and... Um, yeah, when our uh, grandpa passed away, he had some goats up in Oregon, and so we took three of the newborns, and uh, it's we've the herd's just been growing, and now we have like seventeen in the 15. seventeen goats, and the highest we've what had kind of is goats? about eighteen uh, or goats. Now explain the difference because there there's all kinds of different goats. Explain. People to people that are watching right now. What's a boar goat and what's the other goats? Um, boar goats more like a meat goat. Dairy goats, a milk goat, and I'm not sure what the Nigerian dwarves. Like are the little Nigerian be. pygmies are like for pets, more like yeah. a okay. friendly little tiny animal that's not going to do much. Now we used to have some goats around the house, pygmy goats, but yeah. how can you take that goat breath? It's pretty bad. I don't know. Because <laughs> we have a buck who does all our breeding. He does stink here and there pretty good. It's oh, yeah. not, yeah. a, not a good whiff. Yeah, but it's a good learning experience because um, you have ups and downs with your breeding projects, right? Not yeah. everything goes just like it's supposed to sometimes. Yeah, no, yeah. It's, it does go up and down. It's 
And what's the ups and downs? Some of the well, some sometimes for like pigs, I'm hoping, what I've heard, you can sometimes have 10 to 12 baby piglets. All my litters we had, we had three litters. They only had like six, six, and nine. But then a lot of them were dying off, didn't have, like one of them had a ton of like pigs that were like not even really alive yet. It was just, it's a bummer, but we there's, even. There's a lot to dealing with a pig that has babies because if you have to separate, basically put the pig in a, some kind of a crate. Yeah, it's like, like a crate we put him in. It's like a dome. It has like two bars. And then a big old crate, so then when they lie down, the baby piglets can then nurse. And so the then without the mom crushing them. Because the mother will roll over and or, or even eat them. And eat them. Too. Yeah, sometimes they will eat all their baby okay, piglets. let's not talk too much about <laughs> that. It's, it's early in the morning. So. Um, and goats don't, don't have those kind of problems, right? Um, they don't have those kind of problems, but sometimes, they, the, sometimes the little goats are too big, and they won't come out of okay. their moms easily, and so we've had to pull some of them out of the moms to get them out. And do you have any predator problems with coyotes or anything like that? We haven't had any. Not so far. We We've had any. them for two, three mm -hmm. years now, and we have had no problems. Okay. Well, that's good. What What is the best part about the 4-H uh, project? The best part about the 4-H project is just having all the fun and learning all the different things. <laughs> Even when you're on bar duty? Eh. Barn, yeah. yeah. That's not too bad, huh? Not too no, barn duty is not that bad. It's a pretty easy job. You okay. keep dials clean. If you keep them clean, it's easier to do the next job. Mm -hmm. uh, so what's your best part about 4 It's the experience, being able to go to the fair every year and be able to show animals, being able to go out there and show off your animal that you've had for multiple months and see how good you've done. Mm -hmm. It's. So it's, you can short that. You're kind of showing off yourself, right? <laughs> your experience and, and what you've learned. That's what it's all about, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then what's the best part about the Amador County Fair? If you get away from the livestock, that is. <laughs> um, my favorite part is the livestock. Because right? I've done it, because I've had my pigs here for now six months. Mm -hmm. And that Thursday of fair, that's when I get to come down and show all the stuff I've been doing for six months. Show off my project, how good I've done, and be able to show... What well, my work's been going towards. Okay, I'm not going to be able to break you guys on that. So I'll ask a different question. What's the best part about the Amateur County Fair away from the livestock? Um, looking at all the different booths and all the different things that everyone has set up. And getting all the freebies. A lot of variety and a lot of giveaways, right? Yeah. Yeah, a lot of the events. It's fun sometimes. Um, just Yeah, just a lot of the events. It's fun to go to, like the derby, all yeah. the different stuff. The Even like the wood shop, the... The like little wood setup where where they carve the yeah like the old mill, time the old sawmill. log mill yeah uh, do you make your way around to the uh, the old antique engines and all that yes yeah, that, yeah. that's yeah. fun yeah, pretty cool huh mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, you guys you go to once you you're done people don't understand this once you're you're done showing are you done with your animals no we yeah. are not once we're done showing we have till sunday sunday night is when we end our process of taking care of them and then we leave and then they get shipped shipped off the next morning but you have to people have to understand too you're packing things up while everybody else maybe is having a great time you got to pack things up and get ready to go home on sunday right you mm -hmm. so that's a, a big job and just by itself before you can get to the destruction derby yeah, because we usually clean up. It's not a lot to clean up, though, because you keep your area nice and clean. Mm -hmm. But then you do the derby, and then you say bye to your animals. So you start your, your pig project about five months before the fair? Yes, five to six months. It's like in early, late March, early April. And the goat project, how far ahead do you start that? Um, Sometimes we have December, November babies. Mm -hmm. that oh, They, this... So you got about, uh, besides your breeding project, which you mm -hmm. have to manage your animals all year. Yeah. Your your projects, um, you get about, what, uh, uh, September, August, September, October, November. You get maybe about four, four and a half months off before you got to start with your next project. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yep. So that's what some people don't realize, too, that the beef kids are actually... The oh, yeah, after. the beef kids have their steers for, I believe, is like nine months, yeah. ten months. It's but the day after fair... They're, they're the next month they're looking project. yep and you guys are in the same boat you're getting ready for fair so people 
have to understand this is almost like a, a year-round yeah project, it's preparing but, it's but as far as the breeding project it is year-round right mm -hmm. yep you got so, animals at your place all so, the time so are you always looking with your family are you always looking for different places to find new breeding stock no for the goats we mostly just stick with the goats we have to because mm -hmm. they're they're getting me goats to take the fair and they're they're doing pretty okay. They're doing okay. But well, you got kind of lucky finding those goats where up in Oregon. Yeah, once our grandfather passed away, we took a few of them, and we we've gotten some more goats, and it's just it's grown to a big herd. Yeah, there's lots of people out there that'll help kids get started. Though I I just had a a young man that I know that found online a major breeder said I have a, a I think it was a five year old uh, ram. Ram lamb, ram goat, mm -hmm. that or ram uh, sheep that that he was willing to give to somebody to help them get started. Oh. Found it online, so it's first come first serve. Oh wow! So you got to be looking online for opportunities like that, that because the older people want to help the younger people get started to keep it going. Yeah. So are you guys uh, thinking about this for a, a lifetime experience? That you you think this could be something that you grow into that uh, becomes your your uh, occupation? I'm not sure about that, but it, just see what it comes down to. What? Because we might have them for a while. I don't know. I think the goats is because we have them. It's our. I think we all have them for a while yeah. doing the breeding. Are you guys into sports too? So yes, yeah. I'm in so sports. So you're doing everything, right? Yeah. yeah. So, yep. and, and the girls like. What do the girls like? Pigs or goats better? I have I no have idea. No idea. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. Thank you for being here. Yep. No. And good Enjoyed luck it. on your project at Fair you. and. Uh, we're going to go away and be right back with TSPN. Amador.